Hi everybody, this is Key with Messy Desk. Um, so in our 150th video giveaway, we asked you to respond with ideas for us to try for tutorials. And um, we had two that I'm going to focus on for this project. One of them was from Goofy517Us. She wanted to see altered containers such as yogurt, butter containers, things like that. And Louise Lana wanted to see round containers. So I have here a round sour cream container that I'm going to turn sorry, that I'm going to turn into a mini album. Um, so let me get started on that and we'll see how it turns out.
Hi everybody. Okay, so we've got this con finished container here. Um, now this was the sour cream container and what I've done was I've taken um, pages from the Tim Holtz Ideology Lost and Found paper stash and I've used Mod Podge to um, glue down the various strips from that paper stack. So the bottom. So that's the side of the container. And then I used Rub and Buff to paint the rum gold. And then this is the top of the container here. And the, the base is just another page from the paper stack. And then two of the Recollections flowers and I took the Walnut Stain um, Distress Ink and distressed that. And then the, these are embellishments from the Tim Holtz various Tim Holtz collections. He says love and the trinket says vintage. Um, so I used, again I used rub and buff around the border here and then I took walnut stain and kind of distressed or walnut stain distress ink and kind of distressed, distressed the color a little bit which makes it match the antique copper a little better. Okay so this is the container and inside the container is a mini album so let me open it up here and show you how I've turned this into a scrapbook. This is the inside of the lid here. Let me back this up better so you can see it. There we go. That's the inside of the lid. Now these little white dots are the glue. The glue is still drying. I just finished it. Um, this is a Recollections flower and again I took the Walnut Stain Distress ink and distressed it. And then this is a bottle cap and then the different gears from the Tim Holtz collection. Um, the inside is painted with metallic pure gold acrylic paint and then distressed with walnut stain distress ink. So then I have a ribbon hanging down from the lid that pulls up the first page. Um, the page is made out of the Tim Holtz paper stack and then I have his fragment piece with a picture here and then this is a little charm and this I, f I think this is from Industrial Chic and then this journaling tag uh, I forgot who this is from I forgot I forget who the journaling tags are from let me check one second those are from Colorbox so all the journaling tags in here are from Colorbox you can see on the back of on the back of the fragmented picture I just used the paper more of the Tim Holtz paper stack and then I have another fragmented picture here and then a trinket pin that says snippets and another little picture and another little journaling tag As you can see, the ribbon that comes down from the lid is the thing is the is the binder that holds all of this together. Another picture, a thoughts token, another picture, This one, this trinket pen says tidbits. And this token says listen. This trinket pen says keepsake. This token says moments. And this is the bottom of the album. I have another little bottle cap here. 
and then another picture and then the very bottom is a little button All right, this is a, a from the Tim Holtz accoutrement collection this trinket pen says findings and so that's the actual album this is the inside of the container and so what I did was I painted the bottom with um, the metallic pure gold acrylic paint and then I put the flower on it and that is from uh, Fun with Flowers from Ashland and then this paper is from also from the Tim Holtz Lost and Found paper stack and I distressed it with black soot and uh, just gave it some torn edges and put various pages in there overlapping each other so that is the container and then the album just let me pull it up here and then I just pull, put the album back in it one piece or one page at a time and close the lid So this is my sour cream round container altered mini album. Um, again, thank you to Louisiana and Goofy517S for the idea. I hope this satisfies what you were looking for, and I hope you learned something new and enjoyed my creativ creativity. <laughs> thank you. This is Key, and this is my messy desk.